As you might have guessed from the intro, we're going to test if Poison Moth is viable. If you want a TLW version, no. No, it needs to be much faster for it to be viable. But anyway, this is the build. We have 60 Vigor, Base Mind, 17 Endurance, 35 Strength, 53 Dexterity, Base Intelligence and Faith, and then 45 Arcane. 60 Vigor is because of the Vigor soft cap. 17 Endurance is just the most we need to be able to not fat roll. 35 Strength and Dexterity are in between soft caps, and the reason for that is that's just what Slugbot said was optimal. For Arcane, 45 Arcane is the Ox uh, soft cap. So for our weapons, we have the Venomous Fang with Poison, and that's going to really just have any Ash of Ore you can fit on it. I tried a bunch, and I think Endurance was probably the best. By the way, this is a New Game Plus build. And then we have the Uchi Katana, as we said that was the best, most damaging weapon we can put Poison Moth on. And it says Lightning here. Uh, I realized once you got in game, Lightning does not work with Poison. So it's actually a cult. Not that big of a difference. It's marginally worse, like a couple damage points. Uh, for armor, we have Mushroom Crown, Fingerprint Armor, Gold Bracelets, and Blide Screeves. That's going to give us 52 poise. It's the most optimum poise to reach that 51 poise breakpoint. For Talismans, we're going to have Kinjo to Rod Station, Rotten Wing Sword Insidia, Melon's Frost Thesis. And then I had the Shard of Alexander. I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it over probably the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman to have extra damage negation. For the Great Rune, I have Millennium's Great Rune here. After testing it, uh, I've decided that it kind of sucks. So thanks, Fextra, for that advice. So I would go with Redon's for extra health, FP, and stamina. For the Crystal tier, we have Opline Heart tier and the Thorny Crack tier. Those are kind of staple. And so this is all of the bosses that I fought and tested against. And the main thing is, to improve this, I think it would have to be faster. It's currently a 36 frame attack and I think it would probably be best at something like 20 to 25 frame. Uh, that would massively speed it up and put it on the same as like a piercing or sorry an impaling thrust because right now it's just too slow to combat Elden Ring's super fast bosses and it makes poison viable in PvE where it otherwise would not be. So that's all I gotta say. Here are the clips.